What's up, Ghost Community? Millennium Force Man, back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the community's top 30 roller coasters on Earth. This video was made by Mr. Roller Coaster, so make sure to go subscribe to him. But basically, he took a lot of lists uh, from like top 100s, top whatever, uh, from coaster enthusiasts, and kind of like meshed them all together and uh, made this big list of the community's top 30 coasters. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm on this list, uh, and anyways, uh, let's get started with the reaction. Uh, it roasts me pretty bad, I'm just going to say that. Tiger 30, yeah, it's, yeah, I put it a little bit higher than that, so, if we put it at 73, I, I don't know, like, th I guess that's fine. And there's me <laughs> putting Phantom's Revenge at 60. And it it's a great coaster. It, it's like my number 11 coaster. And I put it at 60. I don't know why that's the lowest. It is a great ride, though. Like, I don't know why that should be the lowest. But, yeah, Twisted Colossus, I put that in, like, 50-something. So, all these rankings are pretty good, I'd say. But I don't think it should be anywhere near the top 30 in the world. <laughs> There's me again, uh, 62. Yeah, it doesn't run that fast anymore, guys. Like people that have ridden it 2018 and 2019 uh, would probably agree with me. They say it's like one of the worst RMCs. So yeah, I don't know why. RMC Raptors, I'd probably be in the middle of this. I think I was. I was in like the 30s or something. Uh, I put this really low too, but uh, I don't I don't remember what I put it actually. But yeah, it has great pacing, but I really don't know about the airtime on these GCIs. Oh yeah, and uh, sorry, re I really am, guys. Uh, put put Maverick at sixty four. Uh, I know, like sixty four. It's not even that low. Like, there's tons of people that wouldn't even put Maverick in the top 100. I don't know. Jeez, who... How is the lowest rank 48 for Helix? That is... Uh, that's interesting. Like, I, put, I thought I put a high, and I put it at, like, 31. Or I, yeah, I did put it at 31. Storm Chaser, I put it in, like, in the 20s. So, I, I probably agree with the uh, overall placing 22. Yeah, and, and and there's me again, guys. I I know I I really am. I, you figured it out. I'm I'm GP. You know it. I am a part of the general public. Untamed is 66. Yeah, it, it, guys, it really isn't that strong. Again, people that've ridden it are are saying it's not one of the or it's one of the worst worst RMCs. Yes, and I put this at 49 as well. It's it's the same thing. It doesn't have that great of a pacing, but like, I can't believe that the lowest place is still in the top 50 for this ride. Twisted Timbers, I think I actually put it at 29. That is kind of, that's really ridiculous that the lowest rank is 29 for Twisted Timbers. Like, some of these I really don't understand. Yeah, X2, I put it in, like, the top 15. It's, it's great. I, I didn't rank it low for you guys this time. I, I, actually, I actually ranked it high. Yeah, Let Coaster... What did I even rank this as? I don't even think I rated it in the top 25. I think I actually ranked it in like the 30s or something. I have no clue. Yeah, Fury, I'd probably put this uh, like in like, I think I put it in like the 30s, 30, no, 39, I think, 40, I don't know. But yeah, Fury is just a great paced ride and then nothing else. Maybe some air time. Wildfire... I put this in the middle. I put it in, like, the 20s, I think. So, yeah. This is, like, the fury of RMCs, in my opinion. So, it's nice that they're, like, in back-to-back -back spots. <laughs> I know. I know. I really do not like my prefabs. It's just, this ride just is really slow pacing. Like, you look at the speed that T-Express is going at right now. It's just so slow. And, yes, I know that most of the airtime is probably going to be ejector. Yes, and Voyage. Voyage. 
does it have great pacing? Maybe, but it has basically no airtime at all. It's just very weak floater. Like, if you say it has ejector, like, I'm just telling you there's no way that Voyage has ejector. Karanon, I put this in the top 20. Karanon is, like, European I-305. It's awesome. Akugi, I put this really high. I put it in the top five. It's like the only Intamin I didn't put in the top five because, you know, I love my Intamin. But yeah, it's like Steel Vengeance if it was shorter and it had Ejector in every hill. Yes, I know. Sky, Sky Rush. Like, where are the people that haven't, that hate the restraints? Like, don't they not even put in the top 100 at all? Like, how is 50 the lowest? Out of all those people that hate the restraints in Sky Rush, like... I don't even hate the restraints in Skyrush. I just think that there isn't enough airtime moments. Yeah, Dinaconda. I put it in the top 15 again. Edge and Ica, Yeah, literally the same thing. Uh, wow, this one person really, uh, Coaster Legend, I guess they really hate these 40s. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, I, this is the only one I actually made it for the highest. I put it at number two as well because it's easy, easily in the top five. It easily destroys almost everything. But yeah. Yeah, Expedition GeForce I also put in the middle. I put it at like 14. Like this list just makes me look bad because everything I put the lowest, but everything else I put in the middle. Whoever put this at number one, this is, oh my god. This is not the number one coaster in the world. Even if you just like airtime and like whatever, whatever this coaster has, really. Yeah, I know. I, I'm I'm here again, R lowest rank like the, for the half the entire list. I know El Toro. Just it's a, just a few airtime moments. I mean, like my top ten was like three, uh, two coasters under construction, one defunct. So yeah, that that, that one counts. So only seven. And there I am. How is the number twelve spot? The lowest. That makes no sense. The number 12 spot is the lowest. Wow. Seriously. I think I also put this as 18, but that's fine. I know we spent a long time making this list. But yeah, what I was saying is uh, there's only seven places for me in my top 10. And like half of those were coasters that I'm the only one that likes. So there really wasn't that much options. And number one is Steel Vengeance, obviously, because everyone ranks, in, uh, ranks it as the number one coaster. And yeah. Okay, yeah, thanks to anyone who did not put it as the number one coaster, like, how, eight people, that's ridiculous, that's just beyond me, I mean, like, I, I put it at number six, because it is a really long ride, and it looks like it has great pacing, and a lot of airtime, it has a lot of airtime, lots of airtime, a lot, but, is that airtime really strong? Like, even the biggest Steel Vengeance fans say that that airtime is not all ejector, so I don't know, but, yeah, anyways, uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to go subscribe to Mr. Roller Coaster because he made this awesome video. And I actually really like the idea. So, yeah. Uh, uh, go subscribe to him. Big shout out to him. But, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you.